What's up guys, new user to 3D Code after many many years of ZBrush use and there's a few tools that I've uh, kind of missed uh, from uh, from using ZBrush and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration between um, um, them from uh, the presets that I've created. Uh, one is the DAM standard, a uh, popular tool, tool from uh, ZBrush that a lot of, like every ZBrush know, uh, user knows uh, by now and uh, my version of uh, uh, H polish, hard polish. Um, I've been using that a lot uh, recently for for Mac stuff. I like the crispiness of, of that polish uh, more so than uh, the ones I found in the, the presets here, the polish and soft polish here. They're they're okay, um, but they don't uh, have that crispy crispiness that I that I like. I'll just do a quick um, overview, and I'll post a link uh, to where you can download the presets. I haven't figured out how to save out each individual preset yet. Um, but you can just download the entire pack and uh, I guess you have to clear all and then import this pack. Um, anyways, the, the damn standard brush, um, many users of ZBrush are very familiar how it works. Um, it creates very um, hard, uh, deep lines and strokes and it's very, it's very nice to use to create uh, wrinkles and whatnot. Um, and I found that um, a little combination of some of the tools here, I, I kind of got the feel the feel for it um, that I, I quite like actually. Um, the next one is the H polish brush. Um, it, as I said before, the, the crispiness I like. I, I like um, how let me switch to that, and I, I just like um, you know just how crispy the the edges of uh, the H polish of this particular um, brush works. Um, it's nice for a hard surface and it doesn't um, you know, dig down deep into your into your mesh. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if there's tools available for this uh, but I haven't found any in, in the side panel here. Um, and I, I can show you a practical use of uh, the, the crisp brush that I created here. Uh, So I have so I had a, a, a weapon that I'm working on here. Um, I had to bring it in from from Google SketchUp uh, to clean up uh, some of these edges here, and I've um, been using that that brush to do. So I'm currently this is where I'm currently at right now. Okay, I just wanted to uh, quickly show you. Um, these two new brushes, and if you like, um, try them out and let me know what you think. I'll be keep, I'll be improving them as I go um, to get that feel from uh, that I'm used to from ZBrush. Okay, thank you.